So I don't know if you guys know this, but there's really some, some buried treasure under here <laughs> in my yard, underneath all this comfrey that is decaying and uh, turning into compost here. I have something that I've sort of neglected in the past. And when I first set up this whole backyard orchard, I really set up a whole lot of irrigation. And I realized over time I didn't really need it. Um, I'd set it up just in case if I ever did. And um, like I never did, but now actually I think there's a pretty good use for this stuff. So what actually I've done here is I actually have a PVC pipe that then actually draws a line all the way underground to actually where my water is. And I can connect in and actually water from this location, this whole area if I choose. And I decided it's actually a pretty good idea because the greenhouse has historically been very difficult to water, as you guys know. Um, so the greenhouse, if you guys know in the, in the spring, it's just a, it's a real pain with all the pots in there. Um, we even have some trees now planted in the ground in here. And it just becomes quite difficult to water this whole greenhouse, all the potted trees in here. And inevitably, I never end up watering as much as I should. And uh, it really, the trees in here kind of suffer unless I can really get to them. So what I decided to do was I put together this little thing here. And what we're going to do is actually, from that line I just showed you guys, we're essentially going to get a line, uh, a drip line, all the way from there that's going to go underground into the greenhouse here. And it's going to connect actually right here to this particular pole and this particular setup I have here. This is the, a wobbler at the top. And anyone knows what a wobbler is, it's basically a... Um, a sprinkler system. So on, on one side here on the bottom, I have my little connector that's going to connect into the drip line. And on the other side, I actually have a valve that will turn this on or off and let it, um, let the water escape out of here. But if so, if it's too cold, as an example, I can just turn this little knob and all the water can just flow out of here. Um, also at the top, the sprinkler, I'm just going to attach this basically to the pole and this is going to then shoot out water in all these different directions throughout the greenhouse. And that's essentially the lazy, it's going to be the lazy man way of watering this entire greenhouse and getting, you know, getting the right amount of water to these plants. Cause it really is a shame, unfortunately, when the plants are in here in the spring, let's say March, when I wake everything up in here, uh, it just really kind of stinks where some of these plants don't get the water that they need. They don't get the, the start to the season that they need. And yeah, it's ni it is nice because they're getting a head start, but it all just kind of eh, just kind of stinks overall. So that's what we're going to do is sort of attach this little gizmo in here, a little sprinkler system. What I have to do is just connect everything, get the line over here, and then I also have to do some gluing. Um, because the PVC connectors require glue. Um, they're not as tight as you might think. And actually the only piece I have to glue is right down here and right up here. And there's special PVC glue that you guys can get. And this will not only act you know, as a sprinkler system for these trees, let's say in the spring, but it does get really dry in here in, around July. And these trees that I have a spia, Japanese spia in here, these low cordons, they grew, but they didn't really produce. And these figs, they should have produced, uh, especially this panache in the back. But the panache didn't have enough water, I've noticed. And as a result, it did not, um, it didn't fruit. Had the fruit buds present, and it looked like it was going to fruit after I pinched it, but there just wasn't enough water, and therefore it didn't do anything. So. That's how it's gonna, we're going to solve this whole thing and just creating this little um, sprinkler system. And then actually down over here in this area where we have a, another fig planting is that also in this section in the middle, there's three rows of trees, but the row in the middle 
is planted pretty much 100% in peat moss. And this peat moss really dries out throughout the summer. And that's also why I used to have a raised bed here and why this raised bed really struggled. And anything that was in it really didn't grow well. I wasted years messing with this. And, and this big shade tree, a bunch of these shade trees, guys, have their roots kind of all up in this area. And it just, there's a lot of competition. So in order to get any of these trees established, I have to give them additional water. And um, this area, I just cannot be on top of this to hand water this particular area, especially if it ever gets dry, it's so difficult to get it wet again because it's all peat moss. And you really have to wait again, right now it's the fall and you can see this peat moss is now starting to get wet. I actually added some mulch to try to help the situation. But overall, the trees in this little section here will never do well unless I get them established. Once they get established after a couple of years, then I can probably say forget about it with the irrigation. But as you guys know, we set up our low tunnels, which we're gonna do very soon. And these low tunnels will be set up here. And you know, if I'm waking these trees up in the spring in March, I definitely noticed this year that we actually have a problem with moisture. So it's really important. I don't know where the, uh, here it is. Here's one of our rebar posts that we have in the ground. And over top of that goes the PVC. And then we just put the plastic over top. But yeah, it's just, it's not good. And someone had asked me, Ross, you know, how do you irrigate underneath these, these low tunnels? Well, you just put a drip line in. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, it's really quite simple. I wish I could have had the time to show you guys how exactly I'm setting this whole thing up here, but it really isn't all that difficult. Um, you know, you just get the right connectors. I'll try to maybe do some sort of a write up at some point for this if it works the way I want it to. This wobbler, I may need something different. I may not want a wobbler. Maybe this shoots the water too high. And for this six by eight greenhouse, it might not be all that suitable. And I may have to get a different attachment at the top, uh, a different sprinkler system. But um, inevitably we'll, we will succeed in here. We will have healthy plants um, that are getting off to the right start to the season. And yeah, so I want to thank you guys here for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see everybody soon. I'm just really happy to uh, be out here and doing some things. Just actually having some time in the season to actually do uh, some work out here. So, all right guys, take care. We'll, we'll see you for the next one. See you soon.